With more than 3,000 lakes and ponds in Massachusetts, we're finding there's lots more to lakes than just swimming. And while researching our show, poring over maps and charts, we come across a puzzling discovery in Shrewsbury, Busta Rhymes Island. So how does a tiny speck of land in the middle of a pond in central Massachusetts get named for a platinum-selling, Grammy-nominated rapper? I think that people find a lot of humor in it, and I think that that's really what the most important thing is, is that it's absolutely ridiculous. Kevin O'Brien and his friends liked hanging out on the island and noticed it was unnamed. Fans of the Brooklyn rapper, they geotagged the island on Google Maps as a lark. Well, it's got stuff Busta would enjoy. Blueberries, rope swing, beavers. Who doesn't like that stuff? The name went viral. I've been in Complex Magazine on NPR. I think the highlight was definitely getting to the front page on Reddit. That was ultimate goal in my life, as ridiculous as that sounds, it's, it's, it's pretty huge. O'Brien lives on Mill Pond and is the self-appointed custodian of Buster Rhymes Island. How long a voyage is it from your dock to the island? About two minutes. When the seas are rough, about three minutes. My family and I go over there, we pick up trash, uh, we kind of maintain things as we can. We, we are looking at some delicious Buster Rhymes Island blueberries right here. Good stuff. Still, the name of the island, famous as it is, is officially unofficial. Now, the town of Shrewsbury has been approached oh, yeah. about renaming it officially. Oh, yeah. They but want, they say no. They want, they, they, want, they want nothing to do with it. Never heard from Buster Rhymes himself? No, but I have a friend of a friend who's in the business who said that he said, yeah, I heard about that. Ever wonder what it would be like to live on an island? Not just any island, but your very own private island. A common fantasy for sure, but the reality is your fantasy island might just be waiting for you. Just an hour south of Boston. It's extremely unique. It's not very often that an island with a house on it comes on the market. Want to get away? Well, we might know just the spot. Smack dab in the middle of Lake Pearl in Wrentham. You're in your own little world. You would think that you're somewhere in New Hampshire or Maine for sure. This two bedroom home does indeed have a rustic upcountry feel with beadboard walls, stone fireplace, and wood stove. John Masala of the Rockstar Realtor Group is quick to point out though, the island does have water, electricity, and a new septic system. The only thing we don't have over here is cable coming directly to the house, but we are on an island. Do you really want cable? No. <laughs> In addition, the home comes with a small lot on the shoreline where there is parking, a dock, and two-story boathouse. The current owner has used the island as a seasonal family retreat for decades. The asking price, $625,000. It's a fantastic house, great property. Like, like, how can you not want to say, I own an island? Yeah, I think we all want to say right? that, don't we? All right, the island itself is about an acre, mm. and the owner did get an elevation certificate, so you do not need flood insurance, which is a big thing. Is but if this is your dream, it might be deferred a little bit because the home is currently, and the island is currently off the market. All right, and back to Busta Rhymes Island. I love that. <laughs> um, there is a nice clearing then, but there, but Kevin O'Brien says he's never camped there, believe it or not, and it may have something to do with a cranky beaver that Ooh. he says is out there as well. Called hmm. passing the camping as well. Yes. Moment.